students in the contemporary world. So this is our topic, contemporary global governance. Your professor presented this topic as associate professor five of the Caracas State University. I have uh, seldom word. If you have some comments and suggestions or problems, you may call me or text me. And I have my email at if you want to. So I to Alan at Yahoo.com. So our topic now, this is a 2.4 uh, module. So contemporary global governance, we are guided with the learning outcomes. So meaning we discuss in accordance with the outcomes of this module. So there are three outcomes. So first identify the rules and functions of the United Nations and then describe the challenges of global governance in the 21st century and then explain the relevance of the state amid globalization. So this is three outcomes to be tackled this uh, discussion of this module. So to start with, we are going to discuss about the United Nations organs. So meaning the UAE now is uh, composed of General Assembly. So meaning uh, uh, there are 193 members state as members of this assembly. So meaning all officers is elected by among the 193 members of the state. And also there are second uh, security council responsibility for the maintenance of peace and order and security. So meaning if the country now is having in, in distress in terms of peace and order, so the security council from the UN uh, coordinate to the country to maintain peace and order. Because the purpose of maintaining peace and order of the country, meaning is a uh, economic progression. So, but if the country is in trouble, so meaning no people, no invest investor coming in because of the situation. Next is Economic and Social Council. So, principal body for coordination, policy review, policy dialogue, and recommendations for economic, social, and environmental issues. So, meaning the UN now is a uh, uh, concern about the policy review of the country and also the policy dialogue if there is uh, recommendations on economic and social and environmental issues. So, meaning for the environmental issues regarding the climate change, so meaning the, or the UN is uh, making some policies and projects to maintain and to protect our environment. Because if the, the, our environment is totally damaged, the, the lives of people is disgraced. So that is for the functions of the UN. Next is International Court of Justice. So the UN's principal judicial organ. So before the uh, the late of Senator Maria Santiago, Maria Santiago, one of the international court judges from the UN. So that is a Filipino, Filipino judge, so representing the Philippines, but after her date, so no replacement from here. So meaning uh, the purpose of the International Court of Justice, if there's a problem regarding the country to country, so meaning your country file a case against that country to the International Court. So like for example, the time of Nainai Aquino, so there, there was some uh, problem between the Philippines and the China. So the Philippines cannot file case China to the Supreme Court of the Philippines because it's a bias. While the China cannot also charge or file case against Philippines in their country because it's a bias. To avoid the biases, so meaning the file and see the court of the international. So according to the result of the court now, the Philippines won the case, but the actual scenario the China is occupying the area of the islets in the Philippines. So, secretarial carries out of the daily activities as mandated by the five other organs. So, we need just a secretary. Trusteeship Council provides international supervisions for eleven trust. Territories and ensure that adequate states are taken for self government and independence. It suspended separation in 1994 after the independence. Palau, the last trust territory. 
So many the trusted ship council in the country now is having in trouble and so many the UN now uh, for the stakeover in terms of managing the country while we think for, uh, to, to improve the country's uh, management and governance. So next is the role of UN. So meaning in the role of UN there's an actor and there's a venue. The actor now is a confront the 21st century challenges. What are those challenges by the UN? So meaning that is a big challenges to the human rights. So meaning to protect the, the human rights of the people. So meaning the, the feelings of people must be protected by the UN. So international law, so meaning we buy the international law to the international court. Meaning the venue now is in Israel, the capital of Jerusalem. So there's a function of UN. So first function is to maintain uh, international peace and security. To protect human rights, to deliver humanitarian aid, to promote sustainable development, to uphold international law. So meaning first, to maintain international peace and order security. As I said well ago, so when the UN now is concerned about the peace and order of the country. So meaning, uh, that's why there's an interpol, there's an international police. So if the people now commit a crime in the Philippines and then uh, hide to the other country, the other country is the one to uh, capture that person and bring to the Philippines. So to protect human rights, so as I said earlier ago, so meaning the UN now is protecting the rights of individuals. So according to the Bill of Rights, the criminal has many rights compared to the victims. So meaning the, the criminals could not be punished directly by the policeman, but uh, should be in a court. To deliver humanitarian aid, so like for example, the, the case of uh, Yolanda, so meaning there's a lot of countries helping the Yolanda, so delivering the, the relief goods of the people of Tacloban. So the same story the Philippines also is giving it to the other country, there is. So number four is to promote sustainable development. So meaning the purpose of that is having the project. So like for example, the, the main project so uh, the Philippines now is about irrigation. So the other one is uh, infrastructure hard project regarding the, the, the widening of roads and bridges. So the purpose of widening the roads and bridges is to attract investors from other countries to invest the Philippines. So meaning if there's a lot of investors in the Philippines, meaning there's a lot of money because people now is working in that particular company. Number five, the last uh, function is the uphold international law. So I, I said well ago about the uphold international law. All people, the country, uh, the countries also is uh, abiding the law of the international law. That is some for the international law regarding the, uh, the, uh, the policy about the, the law of the sea. So meaning what, whatever the, the, the line of the sea must be uh, followed by the different countries. So that is pretty function of the UN. Now we have the challenges of the UN. So first challenge is uh, Veto power of the five permanent members of the Security Council. Meaning veto power, so meaning veto power, the, the executive can veto power. So meaning if there's a policy to make it law. So meaning the, uh, the last person who sign could make a veto power, meaning uh, he did not sign the, uh, the manuscript so that the manuscript could not become a law. So that is for the veto power. <coughs> Meaning veto power, that is the power of the person who occupying the, the highest position of the organization. So like the other one is police power to regulate actions of the members, states and enforce orders and decisions. So meaning police power, so meaning the UN now is having the police power so, to regulate. So meaning whatever problem, so meaning the UN can regulate the, uh, the situations or the problems as police power, meaning police power can make uh, captured or can uh, hold us, uh, stop the, the, the operation because he has the police power. Next, there's a question. Is a state still relevant amid globalization governance? So the answer is yes. So I mean, because of uh, governance, so meaning there's a uh, 
in every global, globalization of governance, so many the people now is also up, uh, put us affected or yeah, the people is benefited about the, the global governance. So the other one, no intergovernmental organizations have their own state. So that is simply, so the state is independent and the intergovernmental organization is de dependent. So meaning there's an inter there's an intergovernmental organization and, and there's a state. If no state, no uh, organization. So like for example, the, the UN, no UN, there's no country. So because of countries, now the UN is uh, organized. Because of 193 countries comprising for the, uh, for us, the uh, UN organization. So international and multinational agreements are designed by the states and uh, propelled by the initiatives that they undertake. So international and multinational agreements, so meaning there's an agreement, so meaning designed by, by the state and propelled by the initiative that they undertake. So this is simply, so whatever agreement, both international or multinational, so meaning, so propelled by the initiatives that they undertake by the country. So, so, sovereignty has not been the menace for the state. It's a source of cooperation and concert, uh, concerted action among the states and represents the greater exercise of their sovereignty. So, meaning the, the country now, whether the country is big country or a small country, so meaning even the small country has the sovereign, sovereign power. Why sovereign power? Because there's a compose of government officials, like for example, the U.S., the Philippines. Philippines has been a small country compared to U.S., but the U.S. cannot rule the Philippines because the Philippines has the president, the senator, the congress, so meaning the mayor, it's an NGO official. So the same story with the big country. So many sovereignty power, that is not the menace. So that is uh, according to Bertuzzi and Alberti in 2014. Okay, thank you very much. So that's the end of the module.